Billy was right. The town was being overrun by gremlins. The police switchboard lit up as more and more people called in. This is Mrs. Deagle. I demand you do something about these creatures outside my house. They're scaring my cats and making me upset. The phone rang again. Something's inside the mailbox on the corner. It's throwing out all the letters. Hurry, please. There's a thing swinging on my television antenna. And it's messing up my favorite show. You guys better get down here to Main Street. Somebody's playing with the traffic light, and it's green in all directions. There have been two accidents already. The gremlins were running wild all over Kingston Falls. They broke windows, knocked over garbage cans, and destroyed parked cars. They even chased passers-by, stealing articles of clothing and then strutting around proudly with their new coats, hats, and scarves. Gremlins broke into the local radio station and smashed all the records. Then they started singing into the announcer's microphone. Soon, radios were playing their creepy songs all over town. Not far away, Mr. Futterman was relaxing at home when he heard his snowplow start up outside. What's going on? Martha, look! My plow is driving by itself! Wait! It's coming this way! Run! The plow crashed right through the Futterman's living room. Thanks to you-know-who. The gremlins didn't like people. They didn't like the town. In fact, the only thing they did like was making trouble. Down the block, gremlins were knocking over snowmen, breaking windows and yanking up shrubs. Billy's friend Pete watched them carry stuff out of a garage and scatter it in the street. Then they climbed onto Pete's roof. Pete leaned out his upstairs window, aimed his slingshot and fired. A gremlin toppled over backwards. I got him. Pete aimed again. I'll teach you to pull down our decorations. Pow! Got another one. This one zinged off the roof, fell into a trash can, and rolled down the street. Pete loaded again. Wow, this is more fun than an arcade. Downtown at Dory's Pub. Dozens of gremlins had taken over the room, driving out all the customers. The only person left was Kate, Billy's girlfriend. The gremlins had trapped her inside so she could serve them. They screeched at her for food and drink and threw things at her when she didn't move fast enough. Kate ducked a handful of peanuts. Hold on, I'm working as fast as I can. Ow! What do you want? Stop it! I can't do everything at once. The pub was swarming with noisy, bad-tempered gremlins. Some pulled down pictures and knocked over glasses. Others played cards and pinball. Two arm wrestled in a corner, while several more tried to play pool. They ripped up the felt, cracked pool cues over each other's heads, and threw the billiard balls into the jukebox. One gremlin even swung from an overhead fan. Another demanded that Kate light his cigar. She struck a match and saw the gremlin wince. The light must hurt their eyes. That gives me an idea. Kate searched behind the counter. Ah, here's Dory's camera. She pointed the lens at the closest gremlins. Smile, turkeys. The flash bar blazed, and the gremlins howled in pain. They backed away from Kate as she aimed again. Let me through. Move over, you. Take that. Time and again, she blinded the creatures as she headed for the front door. There was only one gremlin left in her way. Back off, Buster. She clicked the camera. Nothing happened. Oh, no. I've used up all the flashes. The angry gremlins quickly surrounded Kate. Now, they would never let her escape. Then, bright light flooded into the pub. But gremlins screamed and covered their eyes. Kate looked outside to see headlights from a parked car shining straight into the pub. A figure climbed out of the driver's seat. Kate, it's me, Billy. Come on! Kate ran outside and jumped into Billy's car. Careful, Kate, you almost sat on Gizmo. Billy turned the key, but the car wouldn't start. What a time for it to act up. 
Come on, let's make a run for it. The headlights should keep them trapped for a while. Billy grabbed Kate's hand, and they raced down the snowy street. Let's duck into the bank. We'll be safe in there. Kate followed Billy into the deserted building and caught her breath. Oh, Billy, I've never been so scared in my life. Thanks for saving me. She hugged him fondly. What's going on, Billy? What are those creatures? It's a long story, Kate. But the most important thing is we beat them. Gizmo shook his tiny head. <laughs> well, little guy, at least we beat them for now. That was the end of book three of Gremlins. Billy, Kate, and Gizmo are safe for now, but Billy's headlights won't hold the Gremlins forever. Find out what happens next in book four, Gremlins Trapped. <laughs>